pass or fail? Justin Nicholas, pass or fail, and then why? I say fail, and the only reason is because it's not secured to the finished floor, but he made a nice attempt to try to rise it up to what the floor height would be, but code says it's supposed to be secured to finish floor, and that's not. That was a great observation, though. Great observation that the plumber on the rough has attempted to place a piece of plywood, which is actually cut and split, which you can't see, so that this flange will indeed be a, sitting on the finished floor surface. And that's a code requirement. Between 80 and 90% of the plumbers out in the field don't realize that the closet flange needs to be sitting on the finished floor. So Justin had a great kind of walk me through the critical thinking, deductive reasoning. I have the same question for the plumber when I did the inspection on this job. Like, so what's the deal with the piece of plywood under the flange? He says, well, you know what? I talked to the general contractor. This is what they're going to do for finish. It's going to be about between what they're going to lay down for a subfloor and the tile. It's going to be about a quarter and a half an inch. We have a little bit of play in that flange, so we're going to unscrew it, and it's going to be screwed down to the finish floor. Those are sheetrock screws in there. We don't want to like have just regular sheetrock screws holding a flange down to the floor. We want to have something more robust, epoxy, maybe stainless steel, something a little better than the sheetrock screws in the rod. So it was a good. That was a good answer, Justin. How many of you would agree? Pass or fail based on Justin's answer. All right, one more. John Corora. I would agree. It's a fail. Okay. So if you were the inspector, you would interview the plumber and go, all right, what's, what are your plans? Why is this like this? If he or she has this really cool explanation, and then me as the inspector goes to any one of you, all right, just going to tell you right now, I'm making a note, took a picture of it. You have a problem with me asking you to pull this toilet on finish? Hopefully you're all going to say, no, I don't. Because that's what needs to happen every once in a while. Can you pull that? Here, here's the picture back three months ago. Can you pull that toilet so you can just look at it? Or before I even get there, call up for a finish inspection. Hey, did you already set that toilet? Those are the deals. But on the surface... Pass or fail, fail, because you're absolutely right. You've all read that that closet flange should be sitting on the finished floor surface, not having the flange even with the top of the floor surface. That portion down there should be like it's sitting on that piece of plywood right there you're seeing in orange. Should be sitting on the tile sitting on the stone, whatever, marble, whatever they put down in some of these houses. 